viewers welcome to blood test this is dr lalita sandal and today we are going to talk about the five important points you need to note while choosing the hematology analyzer for your center the foremost and the first point we are going to see is what type of sample you are going to run in the hematology analyzer in the hematology analyzer you can run blood and also fluids if you're going to be pertained by doing only the blood samples for the cbc count you can choose a three or five part analyzer if you're also going to run a good number of acytic fluid the pleural fluid in the hematology analyzer then it is ideal for you to choose a six or seven part hematology analyzer going on to the second point that is the standby time every machine every make of the hematology machine has a different standby time some machines have half an hour some 2 hours and even some gives you around 4 hours of standby time you need to know what is the standby time the machine you have chosen gives you the standby time is the time once you have run a sample it will be on a pause or a sleep mode for some time while restarting it usually takes the cleaning reagents thereby increasing the working cost when you are going to run samples after the standby time the lesser standby time it means that you need to have a large amount of sample load when your standby time is around 2 to 4 hours you can also run samples every half an hour or every 1 hour or once in 3 hours to 4 hours choose wisely your machine according to the load you are going to get for your center the third point is the working cost any cbc machine you take ideally the working cost per sample is between 30 to 35 rupees the fourth point you need to see while choosing your hematology analyzer is the parameters three part parameters are different five part parameters are different six to seven part hematology analyzer gives different additional parameters in these parameters it is not the number of parameters you get it is the type of parameters you get is the most important you need to note what are the measured parameters how many are the calculated parameters and what are the other research new parameters which is an add on in your hematology analyzer that is the fourth point you need to note and coming to the fifth point the fifth point is the throughput of your machine according to the workload of your center again you have to choose wisely the hematology analyzer a machine can give 40 samples per hour some machines can give also 60 samples per hour as a throughput according to the sample load you are going to get at your center you need to choose how much throughput machine you need at your center these are the five most important things you need to note according to me in your hematology analyzer why you are choosing it for your center if you have any doubts or if you want guidance in choosing the best machines for your center you can contact us through email or you can write in the comments also our email id is pathlabstartup@gmail.com and you can also whatsapp us at 9940027564 if you like my videos kindly like my video share my video and also subscribe my channel the right machine is the top priority while establishing your center choose the right machine and run your lab profitably this is dr lalita sandal signing off